This video is sponsored by Royal Match. Today we're heading to a yard sale that's supposed to have a ton of goodies, and technically it's a yard sale, but a private yard sale just for Ricky, me, and Curtis. I think it's gonna be good. But first, snacky snack time. What you guys don't know is we just got done filming a different video earlier, so, oh, whoa, look at this service, my men. All right. Ricky, what's your snack of choice today? I think it's hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos with lime. Lemon. Ricky, I'm gonna say this with all respect, that is the most Hispanic thing you could pick. And I love it. Curtis, what was your snack of choice? Oh yeah, Powerade oh. and cookies. Sometimes the journey isn't complete unless you get a snack. All right, check it out. We just got here and we're, we're not showing the place or the inside of the garage, but uh, we're gonna dig with you guys. But look at these. So these are all for play choice. So Ricky has the Kung Fu, Dr. Mario, Mike Tyson's punch out gauntlet. But I was gonna say one of the best things is that sign right there. My goodness. So let me see the back of it, dude. That's a big item to just move along. Huge item. Wow. So Ricky has the other one of that. We did get it from here as well, Curtis. Mm -hmm. But he has the like the flat box he has version. My favorite type of stuff. Paperwork. Now, I want to see this. Today, I'm excited to be working with Royal Match. And no, I'm not just saying that. Look, I am literally a level 720 on this game. Royal Match is a no ads, yes, ad free game. I like to play this game for escapism and relaxation. At the end of the day, when I'm exhausted from editing, I just like to sit back and play some Royal Match. And again, literally, I've been playing this game for a very long time. Dare I say a couple? years. Royal Match is such an enjoyable and seamless experience. One of my favorite things is that there is no ads. So I can really zone in with no distractions or weird pop-ups or anything like that. It's just me in the game. And I know I'm not the only one. I vividly remember being on an airplane a few months ago and seeing different people on the airplane playing Royal Match as well. And with the game being free and no strings attached, you need to download this game using the link in my description below. I promised I actually put my stamp of approval on this thing. Huge thank you to Royal Match for sponsoring this video. You take care of creators like us and you also keep me entertained. Thank you. Please return Rom. Is that a Fester's Quest? Fester's Quest. <gasps> I'm a huge Fester's Quest fan. Let me see that. Oh, boy. I don't think I've ever seen a box like that. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. I want to see I some of this. Is in there too. So do we know what this is yet? Please return Rom when finished Capcom USA. Oh, so we'll have to ask about this when the camera is not rolling and get some more info. We get here and I, I'm blown away by the things we're seeing. This isn't your typical stuff that you're seeing when someone tells you to come and look at their stuff. I'm talking, there is this right here, which is very interesting so, to me. I'm going to be gentle with. This wow. One? Do you know which game? Capcom, no idea. Um, it's Capcom, but who knows? It could be it anything. Capcom had a lot ah. of good stuff. Oh my, Ricky, pull this out. Can we pull it out? Just be gentle. Oh, so that's a hanging display. Oh, for Game Boy. Oh, that's beautiful and a half. So this one's not for sale? There was a lot of good stuff right when we walked here, man. I'm, I'm a little. It, it will be for sale. I'm a little scared. Right. Crazy signs, prototype stuff, rare stuff. But yeah, that prototype is probably one of the biggest things. This is a Capcom prototype. My curiosity is peaked, even though the owner didn't even check what it is yet and didn't even want us to test it. I think he's kind of keeping it to the side for himself to kind of do his own thing. But we're looking at signs, play choice toppers, the kind of things that you want to see because it's the cool, the unique, the funky, the tchotchke, the good stuff. So cool with the classic light bulb inside. But check it out, I peeked inside here and there's a couple more. And we're huge paperwork guys, huge. Super Mario 3 with beautiful art. Ready for this? Mario's open golf looks so good. It is so good. And look what's under it, ready? Look at this, Ninja Turtles, just like that. This is all like, I mean, we just got here and this is like, he pulled this stuff out. We were like, okay, that's already like our type of crazy stuff that we want to see. So I sent thousands gone already. <laughs> just pulled out another box and look what was on top right here, ladies and gents. What is that? Oh, pens. Yeah, Caleb loves his Disney pens. But look at this, Gex on 3DO. Is it in here? And then Road Rash? Is it in there? Let's see. Yes. Yes, sir. And then maybe check this one too, just to make sure that we're, you know, in a proper spot so we don't make an offer on something that's not in there. Twisted. Would it be in there? No, it yeah. is. Okay, cool. Yeah, sweet. 
I'm not uh, well versed in my 3DO, but <laughs> heck yeah, man. My brain's still just looking at all yeah. this stuff over here. My brain can't even think like with all this stuff out here. Oh, gosh. All right, I'm digging again. We're respecting the wish over there, so I'm not to be creative with my filming, but look how clean this is. Look at the edges. Mortal Kombat 2 on the Super Nintendo. That might be the cleanest box I've seen in my entire life. So this is gonna go in the pile, absolutely. All right, Rise of the Robots, game that everybody hates. I always liked it. Need for Speed, great. Ricky saw this one in here. It's the Resident Evil double pack. We've come across these quite a bit actually, for some reason. We come across these more often than you would think, so. And then I just found this box. Here we go. Seen better days on some of these controllers, but you know, stick feels good on this Dreamcast controller. VMU's in there, blue VMU. We got the pink Xbox app, a little too beat up for me, but I will take a wave bird any day. Gotta load up on controllers. Controllers are one of those things, especially unique controllers like Wave Birds and GameCube controllers. You kind of see Super Nintendo, Genesis, NES controllers, Xbox controllers all the time. But when you see things like GameCube, Wave Birds, any other thing a little bit funky and weird, you gotta pick it up. Oh, another Wave Bird right down here. Woo oh, I thought this was Sea of Thieves from far away. I got really excited. But maybe that too as well. Oh, N64. Um. Yeah, stick feels fine, stick feels fine. All right, so dig in. I know you guys couldn't see, we, uh, we don't wanna film over there, but this was over there, a PSP just sitting back there. And uh, I don't know if it works, maybe, maybe not. It was just, again, hiding out in the back. Killer Cuts, the CD that came with uh, the Super Nintendo version of Killer Instinct, Sonic and Knuckles, a ton, and I mean a ton of the laser disc for Street Seal Fighter. Too. Most sealed. Mostly sealed. Look at this Marvel Online disc. Yeah, what the heck? Sonic and Knuckles has the box for it. There's this 360 controller like this. This was really cool. A couple Virtual Boy manuals, 8 bit Christmas. I don't, this might be like a Retro Pie type thing. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. Road Rash Gate, great game. Uh, Lethal Enforcers 2, great game as well. Uh, a Game Gear in the box. It, I think is in here. So that's a goodie right there as well. There's a ton of Nintendo power here. Uh, Ricky, look at this old price on it, 10 cents back in the day. Just a whole bunch, Nintendo power, Nintendo power. Nintendo. It looks like some of like the 2000s Nintendo powers. One of my favorite things to collect in the past, maybe like two years has really been sparked for me is Nintendo powers. <laughs> Nintendo Powers were such a crucial part of your childhood as a Nintendo player. This is pre-internet, we all know that. But it was some games, some games would you would be having to look at Nintendo Powers to find out how to beat the games. They were crucial. Great posters, great artwork, just such a fun thing. There's certain issues in Nintendo Powers that are better than some of the most intricate things I've ever seen. So Nintendo Powers, you see them, you pick them up, always. Well, depending on the price. This was a good price. My favorite is that, just this Ronald McDonald yeah. dude. dude. I like this, look at what we found here. So this is that Coleco um, by Sega, but uh, it's in the box, man, the Frogger. So these are awesome. These are actually uh, really desirable. I, I rarely, rarely see them in the box too, so. Look at this, dude. How cool is this? Like, I love this. Yeah, paperwork all day. Paperwork. Curtis is, we're all into paperwork. Sur Curtis is super into paperwork as well, so. So we just found this. Was kind of excited, was like, might be able to probably get this off if I need to. Dang it. Gosh dang Ew. it. Ew. That's bad. That, I'm not comfortable with that one. I'll take it. You want it? What'd you find? It's a uh, floppy disk Commodore computer. Floppy disk Commodore, ready? That's a, oh yeah, the CompuPack. Oh, that's the back end of it. So the floppy disk, floppy disk will be right here. The front. There it is. Pretty cool. Beautiful. It's the 1541 and uh, it's looking pretty clean, man. That's awesome, Ricky. Heck yeah, bro. So this is super cool. Just been finding so much stuff in there. Just It's just a constant dig. But check this out. This was hanging from Disney. They said this came from Disney. It's a giant DuckTales promo banner, but it's actually really thick. It's like a giant thick mesh material. Man, if I had a game store, that would be numero uno of things to pick up right now. Just finding so much freaking cool stuff right now. Ricky. Wow. All right. 
dude. Wait, okay, hold on. Oh yeah, that's real material. Ricky, I think you need that. I might go for this one, but this one? Both of them, <laughs> they're both super cool, dude. Came across another Dreamcast controller and I thought this was super interesting right here. Look at these. Graded garbage pail kids. Look through that bag. Bridget Digit. Uh, this is, I think, Dry Guy, what's his name? Oh, it, is, it says right there on a Dry Guy. And then also on here, we got Wes Mess. Super cool, man. And all these, like, for music, all these oh, backstage yeah. passes and stuff. Oh, that's and fun. Tickets. Like, there's, like, Motley Crue one. There's a Carlos Santana one in here. Yeah. It's, like, Foreigner. Good it's old crazy. paper. Dude, I love it. Gotta love paper. Let me see that, Ricky. Yeah. So, I, I'm not gonna lie, Ricky. When I saw Dude. this, I was like, oh, I looked right over it Why? because I didn't think it'd be anything. Well, you know what it reminds you of? The movie. The movie. Well, that is what they pulled up in the original. Let me see. Oh, dude, that's yes. amazing. Wait, there's a second one. Hold on. That I have, like... I really want to see Oh, that's a Model T. I know. So let's see, Hook. Oh, boy. Nintendo. Oh, boy. I didn't know they were Nintendo Ricky. I'm not going to lie. I passed them right up. I know, me too. I just saw him and he's like, you don't want this? Right now, Ricky, I'm sitting here looking at all of these and buying, like, all of them. Like, spending thousands of dollars right now. Oh, oh that's that cool. Beautiful. Look at the number on the bottom. Oh, that's... On, dude. I know. We're going broke today. Well... He's what it is. I know, I've been buying so much crap right now, dude. Look at my, my pile's getting wild right now. But yeah, jeez. Sorry, it's hard to see with all my hands full. An interesting collector's market is Play Choice stuff, and particularly Play Choice toppers. I've seen a lot of different Play Choice things and cardboard cutouts that go on top of Play Choices, but I'm talking the little metal Play Choice toppers. These have kind of grown in popularity a little bit more recently, or maybe I've just been searching for them more and seeking them out. But these are those items that you don't see lying around here ever. Here she is, the Nintendo Play Choice arcade system. <laughs> She's like my little princess. <laughs> It's got 10 classic NES games on here. So, to see him here, yeah, we're gonna buy as many as we can. I'm looking at a lot of this stuff, but what's crazy is this stuff. The Play Choice toppers is what I'm looking at because these are these are pricey. He's kind of looking at like around 100 bucks per, and there's a whole bunch. The biggest one would be, so we found out this one, TMNT. I didn't even notice. It says TMNT, and it comes with the backing, right? It has the backing that it goes with. So these are super, super valuable. Um, same with all these toppers, man. I'm just having a hard time biting down on like, you know, a hundred each or so. I and mean, you can see in here, Punch Out, Kung Fu, Gauntlet, Super Mario 2, Double Dragon. Uh, this is a hundred bucks. And then these Nintendo powers are kind of jank. I don't even know if I'll take them. But then all this stuff is just kind of like excess stuff. I wouldn't say anything that's like really crazy that I'm like dying to have. But there's some good stuff, you know, untested controllers and wave birds. So we'll see. I feel most of my money going to this pile right here, which all day I'd rather collect super rare weird stuff versus having, you know, a ton of stuff that you can buy anytime, anywhere. So we'll see. I'm going to see what he says in a minute. Now I'm getting out. 950 bucks for me. I think Ricky spent close to like, I think Ricky spent over a thousand dollars as well too. So buying a lot of stuff. Uh, luckily enough, brought that cold hard cash. Baby. Look at this. Baby. But yeah, so a lot of really cool stuff. I'll show you guys in a little bit, but I just really loaded up. The big things again were like the play choice type stuff. The rest of the stuff was a lot of filler stuff, controllers that I needed, other things of that nature. But really there was quite a few items that I spent like a hundred bucks per item on. So that's where like the big money went. And then the rest was like bulk up, have stuff that I need, like controllers and stuff like that. All right, Ricky's showing off his favorite thing he got of the day. I'm guessing, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. favorite thing of the day. I would say, yeah, dude, that is Pretty cool. super sick, man. I think this was a, for the Kia, the Nintendo kiosk. But I'm not the original sure. Nintendo? The original Nintendo kiosk. Face, or Yeah, topper, face plate, whatever. topper. So it looks like I'm gonna have to set it up. Try to make it look original. You're gonna have to sell those Sonic signs soon, bro. The Sonic statues. You need to make room for all your stuff now at this point. So a ton of stuff, obviously, but one of my favorite things I got, I mean, you can just see, we're bringing it all over now. This is probably one of my favorite things I got. I've never seen it in the box like this. I've seen them often loose. Okay, those. This, I don't understand why he no, does this. those were bangers. This is crazy. I've never seen these. Before. These are bangers. So when I saw this earlier, I looked at these and I was like, get it's it out of my way. Car, yeah. Got it out of my way. And then look at that on the bottom, Nintendo. Stock number 2111 Nintendo. Look yeah, that one, dude, that one's a Model T. Yeah. Ricky then, showed that one earlier, but there oh, you yeah. go. You got the, it's crazy. Those are unreal, dude. Son of a gun. But yep, loading stuff in the car now. 
Ricky had to point out Ricky also did buy these and I think they were pretty pricey. I heard them talking some decent numbers on these things, which I've never been into wrestling, um, but Ricky knows all about it and he was very excited to get these. You don't these. know about the Rikishi? I do know about Rikishi. Rikishi. He's Rikishi. basically got your cheeks, Bro, but brown. When he did the move on Booker T and he did the... That was the best. That was the best. Like, Rikishi is my favorite. <laughs> Curtis. What's up, sir? Show me what you grabbed. I didn't even know you grabbed this stuff until we were in the okay. car. It's the stickers for the Nintendo Power. Then you got this data book in the back, which I mean, I've never really seen before. That's amazing. Yep. And then this is like an old score book, kind of like what you do on your score for your game. I've had those before. It has some really good art inside of it. Yeah, like in the beginning. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, Ninja yeah. Turtle. That one. Oh, the Mega Man one is fire. Does that affect Santa do too? And then they usually give you like a thank you lover. Lover? lover. Thank you. Lover. Like a dear subscriber letter for saying thank wow. you. Wow, show us the other side. Yeah, yeah. Curtis, the paper king, picked up a few things that I think is awesome. Well, a lot of things I think that are awesome. And talking about music memorabilia, music paperwork, music badges. These are the kind of things where certain collectors back in the day, you know, you go see the Beatles back in the day and you keep your badge or you keep your ticket stub. There's stuff for Kiss and Metallica and Pearl Jam and Rage Against Machine. This is the stuff that, yeah, I know there was a good amount of people that were like holding on to these when they were younger, but I never thought about that when I was younger. And I went to Paul McCartney concerts and I never thought to save my ticket stubs. Now thinking about it, this is the kind of stuff that a lot of people are super into, love the paper collecting market. Miller, Genuine Draft, Popular Creek, Eddie Money, bro? Warp Tour, let me see. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe With not. Airwalk branding, look. Dang. Airwalk Footwear presents Board Aid Warp, oh, Warp Magazine, Volunteer Badge. Bro, this is sick for 1995. Let me see what's that in your hand next. Just, just the next oh, K-Rock, world famous K-Rock. Oh, all acoustic Christ almost acoustic Christmas. Thanks for watching. That was a fun one, and dare I say, one of the more obscure and rare honey holes and that we've ever found. What a deal, what a day. A press ticket for Barney's Big Surprise in 1996. I think I went to that. For my son!